we're doing something totally new, Bill. We're recording a, a National Public Radio piano jazz show here so that we can get some Canadian artists on the show. And then I think it'll be broadcast all over Canada and, of course, in the States. But we've been hoping to branch out. We've been hoping that uh, that they would take the show in Canada. I mean, all the uh, whole 14 years that we've been doing, but uh, we thought it would make things a lot uh, easier to get started if we came up and did some Canadian artists. So we've had uh, Bernie Sinensky on the show. Tonight is uh, um, John Ballantyne. Tomorrow is Oliver Jones. So we're just scratching the surface. I know there's more. Is this Many the first more. time you've tried something like this in Canada? Yes. Yes, last year we went to uh, to England, did it at the BBC. We recorded uh, four pianists there, and we're going to do that again in September. So it's kind of fun. So how did you come across these three gentlemen uh, in Canada? Well, um, through various people mentioning them. I knew Oliver already. I have had already had him on the show several years ago. But, uh, and we also, of course, we had Oscar. In fact, I was hoping he mm. would be available, but uh, no, not this time. We'll have to catch up with him some other place. Now, how long had you been planning to record? Uh, you've got a new album out. And yes. And it's a new album of songs by Benny Carter. Right. Now, how long was this in the world? Oh, ever since we had Benny Carter on Piano Jazz, which was a couple of years ago. And I've always loved some of his music. And uh, he's not really a pianist. He very modestly says he plays a ranger's piano, which is pretty much what he does. But I was so interested in some of the songs, I just thought it would, would be nice to uh, do some of them on an album. Then the next thought was, well, why can't we have Benny Carter on the album? And uh, so that's the way it worked out. So in fact, we're doing, um, we're doing a television show on Wednesday, the Today Show, um, to help plug the album. Is that right? Yeah, and a few other things, uh, some other New York shows, stuff coming up. Now, did you help in arranging, or did you work together on arrangements? Because he can be very sensitive about how his songs go harmonically. So. You know that. Oh, <laughs> you know that. Yes, I, uh, I really let him. So, well, actually, we met before the date. We sat down at his house and kind of hashed out the tunes and and. Uh, talked about how we do them, and I had already learned everything very carefully with it, with his harmonies. Mm -hmm. So uh, I think he was pretty pleased when we when we came to the date. I mean, everything was sort of arranged, uh, no big arrangements, just sort of head arrangements that we did on the date. And he would say to me, well, how should we do this? And uh, I'd either come up with some little idea I had, or if I didn't, if I didn't have an idea, then he'd jump in and say, well, how about this? So that's really how the whole date went. Very yeah. comfortable session to do. Yeah, it was. Yeah. Very easy. We did uh, the first day with him, and uh, he really only had to do about four tunes. He was the guest on the album. But he, he wound up doing six, and then he said to me, uh, well, I'll come tomorrow if you want me to. But I said, no, goodness, we have enough now. So the next day we did all trio things. Yeah. That's a lovely album. Thank you. Really a pleasure to play. Thank you. Well, it's, it's nice to record with Benny. I mean, that's really a big deal for me. What, well, six decades of songs? Incredible, isn't it's it? I mean, some of the I songs. Read that, I, couldn't believe that. I know, like some of the songs we picked, they're sort of timeless. I mean, they go back to the 30s or maybe 20s, but they still sound good today. They sound beautiful. In fact, there's one that I really loved, which I guess is how I ever first came to meet Benny was Lonely Woman, which was recorded years ago by Sylvia Sims. And I kept thinking, who wrote that tune? Where can I get it? And I finally found out it was Benny, and I called him up, and he sent me the sheet music. The, incidentally, the lyric is written by a guy that lives here in Toronto, Ray Sonnen, uh -huh. who used to be the editor of The Melody Maker. Is that right? Yeah. I know that. Yeah, I've been thinking uh -huh. I must try to look in the phone book and see if he's available. He's a guy I knew years ago before I ever came over here. He was editor of the Melody Maker for years. Now, how were you able to maintain Halcyon Records and keep it producing for such a long time? Because <laughs> you got over 100 titles. 
or plus on that? Well, I've, I've really, I mean, it's really sort of the loss of the cottage industries because we have, we only have 18 albums. And I, although they're still being distributed, I haven't done anything new for several years because I've been with Concord right. for the, about the past 10 years. So everything I ever did on Halcyon is still, is almost everything is still available. But now the hard part, putting everything on a CD, yeah. oh God, I don't know how we did maintain it. Actually, uh, we started Halcyon in about 1970, I think, and I was lucky because I had a friend with lots of money and he, he helped get started. And so uh, then he died and so uh, I had a choice of keep going by myself or quit, so I kept going a little longer. <laughs> they have some, you have some discs with Earl Father Hines, Teddy Wilson and Dave McKenna on the label? Yeah, now, Jimmy Rolls. Jimmy Rolls, and who yeah. else? Um, oh, one, several with my, my ex, Jimmy and Buddy Tate and Vic Dickinson and some of the great players like that. And then one with um, uh, a singer, Teddy King. But the one with Teddy, that was really a gem because uh, uh, I mean, it was so nice of him to agree to do that two piano thing. And as a matter of fact, we did it at this guy's house who had, he had two gold Steinways, wow. yeah, <laughs> face to face. And so that's, that's where we made that date. And Teddy was, uh, you know, one of my idols for years in England. And, and subsequently he did, um, uh, he did my radio show. So I'm happy that I had that. Um, before he died, you know. You've got to do a lot. You've been able to do a lot of things now. You spent, what, yeah. 10 years in one club? <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, was that uh, prior to all this? Yeah. All the radio, the records? Uh, well, during, I think. Uh -huh. I was I was in and out of the Carlisle. For, it's funny. It seems, Jesus, I can't believe that. But I did. I was in and out of there for about 10 years. Mm -hmm. It's a very posh hotel in New York where Bobby Short works. And... Uh, he left um, to go on the road, and uh, he sort of got me an in and into the room. So uh, that started a whole ten-year thing. I would play there like for two or three months, but that was during piano jazz. I mean, sometimes, sometimes I would have to record something for piano jazz, and then get in the cab and go to the Carlisle and play afterwards. <laughs> it's a pretty busy life. Now, how did you Still come is. to radio, and what do you think about the, the 14 years you've been able to document so much of the piano jazz? Well, that second part of the question, I think it's amazing. I mean, it's something I never would have dreamed of in my whole life. But before this show, they had, they had one uh, hosted by Alec Wilder, the composer. And he had this book out, American Popular Song. Right. Remember that show? So all his guests were singers. He had Helen Merrill, he had um, uh, Tony Bennett and, and uh, Margaret Whiting and people like that. Anyway, the show folded and they were looking for something to replace it. So uh, people at the radio station called me and sort of said we'd like to do a show on the order of the one with Alec except using musicians and what do you suggest? And Two pianos just seemed the easiest format and the least expensive and something I, you know, I'm new scads of piano players. So uh, we just started right off with uh, Mary Lou Williams was the first guest and we had Yubi Blake, Chick Corea, Bill Evans, Teddy Wilson, Hazel Scott, uh, George Shearing, Bobby Short and on and on, John Lewis. You know, I was like a kid in a candy store just calling <laughs> up, well next week we'll have so and so. And all of a sudden, uh, uh, the people sponsoring us, who, who are Exxon, the Exxon Company and NEA, various people, they just like the show. So we've been able to keep it going all these years. That would Do you worry about you know, the changes, what's going on now with the NEA and the, the politicizing of all these things? Yeah, I do, I do, but I just kind of let the people handling that end of things, what worry about it. I just plow ahead and think of more shows and what more ideas, what can we do to keep the thing viable, keep it interesting. I don't know if you've ever heard any of them oh, up yes. here. Have I've you? heard it, well, you, I've heard it, you know, I've been traveling across the U.S. and it's been one of those wonderful things. You'd be traveling or you'd be with a family or you'd be working or whatever and all of a sudden you're 
and the car and it's it's there. Yeah. And you're captivated for the time. It's good for a couple hundred miles. Yeah. Well, that's that's good to hear. No, it's really uh, it's really really a fine show and very very much liked. Well, thank you. Uh, you're writing a, a compiling material for a book on women in jazz. And how oh, coming? I don't know if that's ever going to get done no. because two or three people have already done it. You know yeah. who and. Uh, and I am trying to write a book, but I think it's going to be more about uh, sort of my life in the music business and then all these various women that I know will be in the book. But it just got to be too tough to do a, a sort of a, an actual compilation of all the women musicians, although I probably know most of them and have had a good many of them on piano jazz. Jerry Allen, Rini Rosness, and a lot of these new kids coming up. Fascinating. There are so many uh, incredible women in the music. I know. Well, it's all sort of so much more easy for them now. I mean, I, things have changed completely. Thank God. <laughs> well, I want to thank you very much for taking the time to spend with us here. Oh, I've enjoyed it, Bill. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mary.